Ever wonder why some animations look so smooth and satisfying, while others feel clumsy and stiff? The secret is in the keyframe graphs. You might be scared by how complicated it looks, but I'll explain it so simply that anyone can understand it. I will split this video into three parts. Keyframe graphs explanation, practical example, smooth animation tricks. First, we will split the keyframe graphs into three categories to help them understand it better. Those that end with in. They are slow at the beginning and speed up towards the end, they are good if something flies onto the screen. CapCut offers us three types of these in graphs. Ease in is a slow start and a fast finish. Quad in has a slower start and a faster finish. Cubic in has the slowest start and the fastest finish. Next are those that end with out. Works exactly the opposite. Fast at the beginning and slow at the end. They are good if something flies off the screen. CapCut offers us again three types of these out graphs. The principle is the same as before. The only thing these three graphs will change is that the video will be faster at the beginning and slower at the end. Next are ease. They are slow at the beginning and end, but fast in the middle. Used to move something on the screen from one side to the other. This time CapCut offers us four variants. But again, the only difference is in the speed. I've sorted it out for you. Where at the beginning and end, the animation slows down, and in the middle it speeds up. Ease and quad ease are almost the same. There is a difference between them that you can't even see with the eye. We still have the last two graphs left. I personally don't use them, but let's show them. One first recoils and then goes forward, and the other one goes forward further than should and then goes back a bit. Okay, now let's move on to the second point, a practical example. I'll show you how to practically do it on this good looking guy. We'll start by moving it from the right side to the left. First, I add an object to the timeline. I will move it to the right. Then I move to the place where I want the movement to start and add a transform keyframe. Move something between five and 10 keyframes forward. I'll press the right arrow seven times and move seven keyframes forward. Grab the object and move it to the other side, but be careful not to change the Y position. Click on an object on the timeline and press Alt plus K to display keyframe graphs. We only moved on the X axis, so we click on the X component. Click on the line that represents our movement, and then on Present Curves. It's about moving on the screen, so we'll choose something from the third category. For example, Quad Ease. I'll show you one more challenging example, and then we'll talk about how to make this animation more smooth. So first, I'm going to change the angle to 180. I will reduce the image to something around 60 scale, and I'll place it on top. Move to the place where I want the movement to start, and add a Transform keyframe. I will move forward 10 keyframes, and I change the angle to 360, so the character completes the flip. Now I will move the object to the place where I want it to land, then return the scale to 100%, and I'll move it a little so it sits there. This time our object moved in the X, Y axis and changed scale and rotation, so we will have to set four keyframe graphs. Again, click on an object on the timeline and press Alt plus K to display keyframe graphs. In scale, click on the motion line and set present curves to quad ease again. Now expand the other options we went through and set them to the same keyframe graph, in this case, quad ease. The only thing left for us to do is make the animation so smooth that it slides like butter on a frying pan. Let's make our two previous animations smooth. First, I'll show you a simple bounce effect at the end of the first animation. Move two keyframes forward from the last keyframe and add a transform keyframe. Go back to the middle keyframe and adjust it a little. Increase the scale by two. The object flew over from the right side, so move the object a little more to the right, as if it flew a little over the place where it should have landed and then returned to it. Right click on the clip and select create compound clip. Scroll down and find motion blur and set it to something between 30 and 50. I choose 30. Congratulations on your first smooth animation. I'll show you how to make a slightly more complex bounce effect for the second animation. Move two keyframes forward from the last one and create a new one and then move three keyframes forward and create another one. See what the animation looks like. In this case, I go to the second keyframe and increase the scale by two and add two to the rotation. I'll move to the third keyframe and subtract one from the rotation and from scale subtract two. We will not change anything on the last keyframe. Right click on the clip and select Create Compound Clip. Scroll down and find Motion Blur, and now I will set it to 40. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Have a nice day.